the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 290, Mark 1 to 3. Gospel, the Kingdom of God. Beginning his public life, Jesus chose and called the twelve disciples, taught them and carried out the deeds of the Kingdom of God with them. First point. Mark used the records of Isaiah and Malachi to study about John the Baptist and then linked this to the gospel of the kingdom of God. Right from the opening lines, Mark wrote that Jesus is the Son of God and that he came to this world to save all nations. The core of the book of Mark was the gospel. This gospel was about repentance, about freeing people from evil spirits, restoration, truth, and healing. Mark started the story of Jesus with the story of John the Baptist. Mark recorded the story of John the Baptist who paved the way for Jesus' ministry. John the Baptist had a unique appearance. As the prophet Malachi prophesied, John the Baptist was the Elijah God sent to the desert to proclaim the coming of the kingdom of God. Second point, when Jesus was baptized, the Spirit of God came upon him and led him to the desert. Jesus started his three-year public life after being baptized by John and then being tested by Satan immediately after fasting in the desert for 40 days. The Spirit of God was with him the whole time. At the time Jesus received the baptism, the doors of heaven opened and God's Spirit came upon him. Jesus had received John's repentance baptism. Jesus had gone to the position of the sinner, and this was where God's Spirit came upon him. After Jesus was baptized, the Spirit of God came and led him to the desert. Jesus then fasted in the desert for 40 days, and then set out to fulfill the words in the Old Testament. Jesus' public life began, and the first thing to happen was the seizure of John the Baptist. This was because John had completed his mission. Jesus then recruited four disciples. Jesus then started his teaching. Jesus' ministry continued, and this involved healing Peter's mother-in-law. Jesus also prayed and spread God's word. Jesus also healed a leper and told him to show himself to the priest according to the laws of the kingdom of priests. Third point, Jesus who came to the world to call the sinners forgave the sins of the paralyzed. Jesus healed many sick people including those who were paralyzed. Jesus not only healed them but also forgave their sins. When the religious leaders of the time heard of this, they accused Jesus of blasphemy and schemed to kill him. Jesus knew this but continued with his public life. During Jesus' time, the Pharisees, teachers of the law, and the Sadducees each had different ways of thinking as well as different roots. However, they all came together to rebuke Jesus when they saw him eating with the sinners. To them, Jesus said that he came to call the sinners, not the righteous. What they failed to know was that they were also sinners. Jesus came to save everyone. Fourth point, the Lord of Sabbath, Jesus, healed many sick people during Sabbath. Jesus' public life was less During this time, a debate broke out about Sabbath. Jesus answered that he was the Lord of Sabbath. Despite how Jesus knew that the Sanhedrin assembly members were finding an excuse to arrest him, Jesus still taught them about the meaning of Sabbath and continued to heal the sick. As such, the Lord of Sabbath healed many sick people during Sabbath, and this included healing the demon-possessed man, Simon Peter's mother-in-law. 
the man with the shriveled hands, the woman who had been demon possessed, and crippled for the past 18 years, as well as countless others. Fifth point. The disciples were extremely busy as they supported Jesus' ministry for three years, so much so that they did not even have time to eat properly. Jesus called 12 disciples to him during his public life. The standard for disciple selection was entirely made by Jesus. The only thing Jesus looked at was obedience. Jesus called his disciples so that they could be with him, so that he could educate them and for them to spread the gospel. Jesus gave them the powers to ward off demons. They were with him all throughout the three years and assisted Jesus through thick and thin. They endured all sorts of weathers and also hunger. They were often too busy to have time to eat. This was the life of Jesus Christ. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.